Hey there everyone, welcome to Crap Gamer Reviews. I am the king of all game-related media, the albino rhino, the pony leg breaker extraordinaire, and the most compelling game-related YouTuber, and you damn well know it, back with another video. Thank you all very much for checking it out. Go ahead and give me a thumbing and or liking, and uh, make sure you guys uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, because I really appreciate it. Check out my other videos and podcasts and all that good stuff. Um, I occasionally do a service for you guys. I try to be informative. I'm not always right. Sometimes the information is bad or whatever, but I at least try to... To let you guys in on some of the stuff that is uh, relevant to gaming and things like that. I don't bring in any drama or anything like that. The thing that kind of pisses me off really is the fact that Microsoft doesn't really get a fair shake. So I want to do a little bit of explaining as the differences between the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox Scorpio. Now the Xbox One, the ones that we have now, the launch models, those are still going to be good years from now. They play games fine. They cannot do the HDR stuff. They don't support 4K output. It looks like because of the ports are not are not indicative to support that. You know, they don't have the HDMI ports that actually support that. So, who would want the Xbox One S, the Slim? Well, the Slim it has something called HDR, which is a high dynamic range because it supports a higher output of HDR. I mean, uh, HDMI. So basically what you what you have is you have a situation where you can support 4K output. Now, the, the Xbox One Slim will upscale games to 4K and it will produce, like you can watch 4K Blu-ray players, um, things like that, 4K streaming content. The difference between that and the original Xbox that launches, the original Xbox that launch can't do that. Now, the Xbox One Slim is, in fact, the cheapest 4K Blu-ray player, right? So, uh, it's interesting that this is actually a big benefit to those looking to get into, you know, gaming and also have a cheap for uh, Blu-ray player. So, uh, I think that that's important to let people know that that's the benefit from this. That's the difference between the S and the regular. The S would be for if you wanted to, you know, get into the 4K media and things like that. And also games look really good if they support uh, the HDR, which I was told by multiple people who were at E3, including Tim Dog, Xbox Junkie, and others, that they played Gears of War 4 on an Xbox S on an HDR monitor, and it looked better and popped more vibrantly than Gears of War 4 on Windows 10 at 4K. So I'm just telling you what I heard. So it's a situation where if games support it and your TV supports it, then you're going to have a really good looking picture. You know, will it get you any performance boost? They've kind of backtracked on that and said no there's no real performance boost but games can pop and be more vibrant and things like that if you have an hdr tv and obviously the native 4k videos and stuff like that and blu-ray it's a cheap 4k blu-ray player so you have that going for you and it does upscale games to 4k which the xbox one standard can't now for the scorpio there was a lot of things going around saying oh it's not going to do anything for you if you don't have a 4k tv which isn't true It'll downsample and you'll still have like 4K textures and things like that. So the games will still look better and likely perform better. So games with scalable resolution like Halo 5, those would be straight 1080p 60 instead of the parts where they drop on Halo 5 on the standard Xbox One and most likely on the on the Xbox One S as well because it's scaled to do that when there's a lot of stuff going on. It scales back the resolution so that it can keep up the frame rate. And that's what it does. Now on Scorpio, that's not likely the thing. You're obviously going to get a higher visual fidelity on games on Scorpio as well. But with that being said, they've already gone on record, Shannon Loftus of Microsoft is saying that games, multiplayer games, are going to be the same parity across all the platforms. So Xbox One, Xbox One S, and the Xbox Scorpio are all going to play against each other online, but are all going to have the same frames per second. So there's not going to be any advantages to be had or anything like that. Most likely where you're going to see the differences is in single player aspects and games just kind of running better across the board. And a good example of this is I can play Gears of War 3 on my Xbox One against people who are playing Gears of War 3 on the Xbox 360, but we play the exact same frame rate. This is how things will work. Uh, it's a very good thing that they're doing and I think that it's also indicative of Microsoft understanding that people buy consoles with the idea that there's not going to be an advantage from somebody on a different console because that's one of the main aspects of people liking these consoles. They're closed boxes. So that's not going to change. The Xbox Scorpio isn't going to be for everybody. It's going to be a premium price. It isn't a new console. It's in the Xbox One family. Basically what Phil Spencer said was there came a, a point during this generation where there was a huge leap and a demand for 4K gaming and for really quality VR. 
Xbox One, PlayStation 4 can't do quality VR or 4K gaming. So they had a cheap, well, a cheaper alternative come in in the middle cycle of the generation. They're not going to start pushing these consoles every year or every other year because people would get pissed off. But when a big leap happens like this, it's best to get out in front of it. And that's what they're doing. Everybody's console is still going to be good. You know what I mean? If you're good with your launch, then you're good. If you're good with your slim, you're good. You know what I mean? They're catering to the really hardcore with this. It's probably going to be quite expensive between five and six hundred dollars, and so it's not going to be for everyone. But if you're a enthusiast, a 4K TV owner, um, you want to play some hardcore VR, but you don't want to mess with a PC, this will be the one for you. So hopefully that cleared up some some stuff. Oh yeah, the Xbox S does come with a vertical stand and a controller, so you don't have to worry about that. I think more importantly is the fact that the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox Scorpio will all play the exact same games and all be able to play multiplayer against each other. So it's not going to be a 360 versus Xbox One situation. We're going to see a situation where multiplayer games are all playing against each other with no advantage in frame per second uh, there might be obviously vr games on xbox scorpio that won't be on xbox one but everything else going to be on everything so that is good across the board what a great time to be a gamer options are always great thanks for watching rack them up let me know what you think crap gamer out